The Achievable Foundation was formed in 1996 by a group of like-minded parents with children with special needs. It occurred to us that the greatest lasting impact we could make would be access to high quality health care for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, their families, and other vulnerable populations. Personally, I was motivated by the gap that my wife, Denise, and I saw in services available to our son, Jason. In 2013, we opened our doors as a federally qualified health center to focus on that population and to close that gap that we have personally experienced. In 2023, we changed our name to Achievable Health to better represent our mission, which is the belief that quality health care should be achievable for everyone in our community. My doctor is Dr. Michelle Katanzarite, and she is awesome. She's always there for you. Anything you don't know, she'll explain it to you. So that is what makes Achievable Health so special to me because I feel like a person there. From the beginning, Achievable Health recognized that there was a big disparity for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in the realm of mental health services. A lot of that is structural because of the way the health system works in California, but the important thing for us was to make sure that we had mental health services integrated from the beginning. I think most importantly, we decided that we wanted to do a really good job taking care of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And that decision drove a lot of things about achievable health from the very beginning. You can see thoughtfulness in the design of the current health center, all designed really intentionally to make a broad group of people feel welcome. The thing that comes to mind most is the exam table. What the exam table typically looks like in a doctor's office, it can be really hard to step up onto, which means they're not really getting a great physical exam. And for some of our patients with disabilities who use wheelchairs, it's been years since anybody's done a thorough physical exam. And I think all people can access an exam table in our office. And now we've outgrown our current facility so we're beginning an expansion project to have even a larger facility to serve this population. I joined the Achievable Board about five years ago, and since that time, the growth has been tremendous and really just seen a growth in the need for our services and the growth in the number of patients that we've seen. Over time, we've pushed against the bounds of that space from a patient care standpoint, needing extra space for patient care. And so I know the need and demand for services is out there. We really want to be able to serve more patients and it's hard in the space we have. Building our future, Achievable Together, is our capital campaign. We're going to raise $4 million and use those funds to relocate to an even larger facility, serve even more of this vulnerable population. I'm really excited to be able to take care of more patients. I am really excited about that growth and our ability to reach more people and touch more lives. People with developmental disabilities are the underserved of the underserved. It's very exciting and makes me feel very proud that we're going to create a facility to serve this population and their families. At our current site, at our Green Valley location site, people love coming in there and they feel it's comfortable and beautiful and there's a lot of natural light. People often comment on how nice the space is and they are gonna be blown away when they see the new space. Another great feature of our new space is that it will allow us to really increase the training capacity. We will partner with additional training facilities to bring in residents, to bring in additional mental health trainees so that they can learn how to work with people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We feel this is an important aspect of fulfilling our mission. As we train others, the future of the workforce, in feeling comfortable with this population, it will certainly increase the level of access that's available for our patients in the future and the community members in the future. Other things I'm excited about in the new space include our ability to have group visits. We're gonna have space where patients can gather and do 
perhaps group therapy or other sort of trainings. That's been an area that we've been looking for for years and haven't been able to really arrange. So I'm really excited about that. There's also been some really thoughtful design into a couple of sensory room spaces to allow people who really have difficulty in spaces that look traditionally medical to be able to get the care that they need. I'm so excited about the location that we selected. It will have our own dedicated parking, a beautiful outside area and indoor reception, and really give our patients the type of location that they can feel proud to go to, that our employees will feel proud of and the community will be proud of will be able to provide more services to a larger amount of community members. So we'll be able to more than double how many patients we see. The need out there is much greater than our current location can fill. So that's why I'm so excited about this expansion opportunity is that we can serve more patients. And I think what's important is not only that it will have an impact on the lives of our individual patients, but it's really about elevating the mission, reducing the disparities for the community we serve. I'm a resident of Culver City, and I am so proud of the work that we're doing and that we're doing it in my community. Even though I know what we do is special because our patients let us know every day, it shouldn't be special. It's really great medical care and I'm proud that we get to do it. It's a really special place where we get to provide really good health care to a group of people who often don't get really good health care. I'm really happy that I brought my son on because I feel that this will be his home for the rest of his life. As long as Achievable is here, we'll be here. I really truly hope that you all will join us in supporting this new expansion because I think it's going to be great for everyone. This capital campaign is something that my family and I are very proud of. It's our legacy. Building our future, achievable together, is something that I invite all of you to join with us and build this together.